The calendar app has a much more streamlined view with iOS 7. In previous versions, it felt very cumbersome and sometimes difficult to navigate and manage. With this interface, everything is pretty straightforward. The top row of the calendar app gives you choices in terms of what view you want. So you can have selected day. You can have button. the day, which One is selected. Four. Week. The week. Button. Month. Month. Button. Year. Or a button. year. Search. Button. Add. Oh. Button. Then we have search, and then the add feature, which allows me to add a new appointment or a new meeting. The next row gives me choice of what day. Because I have day selected, I can choose which day I want to view. By default, it chooses the current day. Sunday. Monday, Tuesday, selected, today, Wednesday, June 18th. It said selected today, and then below that, it shows all the hours of the day with whatever I have scheduled within them. Wednesday, June 18th, 6 p.m., 5 p.m., 4 p.m., 3 p.m., 2 p.m., in progress. Right. 2 p.m. is in progress because we're now between the hours of 2 and 3 o'clock. Or if I had anything scheduled, it would show up in here, and I'll, I'll put something in the appointment calendar in a minute to show you what that looks like. But let's just take a quick look at the different views. So we have day selected. June 2014, selected. Let's button. look at what One week looks like. Week, button. June 2014. Week gives you a week's... Sunday, June 15th. View. 5 p.m. Monday, June 16th. Tuesday. Right, June so 7. all I have to do is slide my finger across the screen and it'll it'll move from one day to the other rather than just showing one particular day. Month. But month works similarly. It looks like a calendar month. So it'll have the days of the week going across and then each week June 2014. Displayed. Father's Day. All day. U.S. holidays. Okay. Sunday. June 1st. Monday. June 2nd. Tuesday. June 3rd. Right. Button, we, select year, button, choose year, 2014, May 2014, button, January 2014, button, January to current month, July right, 2000. So this gives me a year's view uh, of the calendar. Um, I don't particularly like this particular view because it's, there's just too much stuff going on. So I try to stick with the day or the week views uh, when I'm reviewing my calendar. But what I do prefer when it comes to the calendar is using Siri. Siri is my favorite new best friend in scheduling appointments, and I'm going to show that uh, really quickly. 2014. January 2014. 2014. Day. Button. Go back to day. June 2014. And I'm just going to schedule something with Siri. Siri, schedule dinner for tonight at 6.30 p.m. with my friends. What is your friend's name? George. George Constantino. George Licapantis. George Constantino. Okay, I set up your event with George Constantino titled, Dinner for Today at 6.30 p.m. Shall I schedule it? Yes, thank you. I scheduled your event with George Constantino for 6.30 p.m. today. The event is titled, Dinner. I can hit the home key to dismiss Siri. Now, if I look on my calendar for today, I can go down the hours. Wednesday, June 18th. Dinner with George Constantino from 6.30 p.m. to 7.30 p.m. Button. There it is. It's already in there. So now that's all I have to do. And if I even leave the calendar. Calendar, Wednesday, June 18th. I can ask Siri to show me or to tell me what my appointments for today are. Let's try that. Siri, what's my schedule for today? You have an appointment at 6.30 p.m. Would you like to hear more about it? Yes. At 6.30 p.m., dinner with George Constantino. While the calendar app is new and improved, I still think Siri is the best way to schedule and review appointments.